Hello students, I am Dr. Vipin B. Gawande and welcome to video lecture series for engineering graphics. We are discussing unit number 5, isometric projections and now we will take the, uh, the next type of problem where the front view and the side view is given. Now these views are placed according to the first angle projection method. So we know that according to the first angle projection method, the position of view is something like this. This is front view, top view, on right we get left and on left we get right so now here we will say since this is the front view so the view which is placed here this is what this is this becomes our right hand side view so this is our right hand side view now okay now accordingly we have to place the the uh, uh, the, the dimensions in our uh, isometric view okay so the first step to draw the problem of isometric projection is to find out the length width and height now since this is front view so it denotes the horizontal dimension it denotes length and the vertical dimension it denotes height for right hand side view we know that the dimensions are the horizontal is width and vertical is height okay so now for the front view so this is a horizontal is length so okay so length is equal to 63 okay 63 mm now height so we can take the height from the front view or we can take the height from the side view because in side view also it is height and this one is also height so this is 37 plus 10 so the height becomes it is 47 okay now width is only in the side view so this is the width so width is given here so width is equal to 40 mm okay so the most important part of the problem is first or the first step of the problem is to find out the length width and height so this is front view so horizontal l h this is this is the side view so this is horizontal is width and vertical is height okay so we have calculated the dimensions now origin is given here okay so so origin is here now we'll take this as a so we'll take along this axis we'll take length okay so this 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 axis will represent our length okay and then the another dimension is now then this the another uh, axis will represent the width okay so this will represent width and vertical is always represent the height so where to take the length dimension so origin so origin is here so along now this is the height is increasing along the left hand side so this direction so we'll take the length along this direction so l here it is h and this is w okay so now so we will take the dimensions now so the first dimension is now this is 63 okay so 63 here okay like this okay this is 63 okay now height is equal to 47 Okay, height is equal to 47 and width is equal to 40. Okay, so we have taken length here along this direction. Okay, now this is this width, width we have taken here and height we have taken along this direction. So height is always on the vertical axis. Now we have to only concentrate about L and W. So we have to take the length. So origin is here along left hand side okay so this direction so this is length and now the remaining dimension is what width okay so we know that wherever the length is there so here we'll get what we'll get here the front view and now this is my the right hand so this direction will get here right hand side view okay so the right hand side view must be there okay so we have we are drawn something like this okay uh, if you take front view here if you take length here then this become left hand side view so we have to be very careful while uh, drawing the isometric view when the side view is given okay so if you take length here so then this is front view this is right hand side view if you take length here then this is front view and this is left hand side view okay but in the problem we have given right hand side view so we have to take length here okay so then this becomes the right hand side view now complete the three dimensional box so we take the references we have three intersections here of the dimensions so now from this intersection the the parallel line to height okay so reference are always you have to take the reference of this three axis only okay so like this okay now from this di from here also like this now from this intersection now width 
okay parallel to width like this now from this intersection so parallel to length okay then from here like this okay and then from this intersection parallel to width okay like this okay so we have completed the box okay three dimensional box where this is our length width and this is vertical is height okay now we will start with the the uh, the front view now in front view uh, we we are getting l shape here okay so we'll start we are we will we'll start constructing this l shape first okay so now what is the now for drawing each surface we have to take the three dimensions length width and height so length uh, what is the length this is 63 okay so 63 already is there okay so this is 63 okay this is 63 is already here and then uh, this is length height is how much this is 47 okay this is 47 here so this is 47 okay now this is what 10 okay we'll first first we'll prepare the uh, the initial box so this is 10 here okay now this is 40 here on this side this is 14 height okay now the uh, the l shape to now to complete this l shape so you just draw here parallel line to length from this uh, point and vertical line from this point so we'll get l shape here okay, so we got here this l shape okay so we have completed this l shape here so that is visible in the front view okay so we don't know how how this appears then so we'll first complete the three dimensional box of this one so it it appears something like this like this here and here okay now complete the three dimensional box of this l then later we'll think about the the next surface It, up, it comes here okay so we have completed this l shape okay now in front view we are getting the dotted lines now this dotted line is because of what if you take the projection so it comes here okay so that means in right hand side view we have this slot okay or this cutout so how to draw this cutout now it is having this 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 is the 40 mm okay so this dimension is 40 so here we have to take the midpoint and then you have to construct this this uh, this cutout okay so now we will take the midpoint of this 40 this is 20 here okay then height is equal to 8 so along height you take 8 mm this is 8 mm okay i have drawn the line Okay, so I have taken this as a height 8, uh, okay, I have taken the midpoint and then now in a, this is 10, okay, at the bottom part this is 10, so 5 mm, 5 mm on both sides, this is 5, this is 5 here, okay, and on the 8 mm line this is 19, okay, so 19 means it is, we have to draw here for the center of that line and then 19 means it is here this is 19 so 9.5 9.5 so this is 9.5 here 9.5 here okay and then join it so now this comes something like this like this okay here okay and this comes something like this okay like this okay so we have completed the one surface so it it is something like this in the right hand side view okay so in the right hand side view this this surface is visible okay so we have drawn that one okay 
now after that now in front view we will get uh, the this cutout appears as a d dotted line so we are so that dotted line is shown here okay now after that uh, what we have we have now we will construct this part okay this part so in right hand side you here you, here this is inclined okay and that up, that that is also show, uh, that uh, if you take the projections here so here we'll get that d uh, two uh, one uh, here two, we get the two uh, separate part okay so in the right hand side you will construct this so this is 10 mm height okay so we'll draw that one so this is 10 mm here this is how height wise it is 10 mm okay and then from we have to take the center of this one this is 20 okay okay this is then and then this is 10 mm 10 mm on both sides so this is 10 mm here and 10 mm here okay and then uh, join it like this okay similarly on the other side so this is here okay so like this okay and then you have to draw here okay. okay it comes something like this now similar the uh, the sim similar inclined line uh, comes on the back side so you just draw the uh, parallel line from here okay so here like this and then draw the inclined line okay something like this okay. here okay so we have drawn that inclined line okay so another another line will come appears here also okay parallel to the width okay, something like this so see in the right hand side you the the surface appears something like this so we are we have taken the midpoint of that one so uh, uh, one centimeter here one centimeter here and uh, height wise it is 10 so from here it is height wise 10 we are drawn inclined line same line we have uh, we have drawn on the back side okay similar uh, the thing appears here but that is not visible okay so that we have drawn now only one thing is remaining that is the this one is the rib you no know, so the, this rib so this rib we, uh, we have to draw so that rib is at a height of 25 okay so in in front view it is a, is a triangle and in right hand side view it appears as a rectangle something like this so it is in the middle okay so we have to draw that one so how we will construct this one so it is at a height of 25 okay so we have to take here 25 mm distance so from the base so this is 25 okay so 25 comes here so you draw a line from there okay this is 25 okay so here now we have to draw the center of this one so this is a this is width is 40 so we will take this 20 okay and then okay so this is our center okay what we have done we have taken height 25 we have drawn the horizontal line width wise okay we have to mark the center of this one so i have marked the center okay now this is the width is 7 okay so this is 7 so 3.5 3.5 on both sides Okay, 3.5 and 3.5 on both sides similarly here okay so it is not up to here it is it is at a, a length of 44 only so 44 we have to take lengthwise we have to take 44 okay and then okay again we have to take the midpoint of this one which is 20 and then uh, 3 3.5 3.5 because the width is equal to 7 okay so what we have done we have first taken the height 25 so height 25 we have drawn the width wise line i have taken the center of that 3.5 3.5 on this it is it is up to 4 it is lengthwise 44 so lengthwise 44 uh, the width wise line and then again 3.5 3.5 on both sides so now okay now we join this one okay like this okay. like this okay now complete this rib like this here and 
here okay now now this appears as a rectangle in the side view but in front view it is a triangle okay so if you take the projection it is a triangle so we have to complete this so take height wise reference like this and then length wise it comes here okay so something like this so see this appears as a okay so here it is now this line comes up to here like this and this is visible so visible part we have to make dark like this okay so you now see this rib in the right hand side view it appears as a rectangle of width 7 but in front view it appears as a triangle but but it starts at a height of 25 okay and the length is 44 so okay so this and this width is what 7 okay so likewise we have to complete the the uh, isometric view of the orthographic projections when front view and uh, the uh, side view is given so in this case it is right hand side view is given so if this is length then this is front view and then this becomes right hand side view so this is right hand side view okay if you take length here then this becomes left hand side view. so we have to be very careful now origin is mentioned here so origin and this direction so this is length so we have taken this length so length is here width is here then this is height okay so complete the problem and show the dimensions uh, here and complete the uh, the problem okay we will come up with the uh, next type of pro uh, problem uh, in the next video okay so thank you very much